hello friends in this video we will get the data from this url to a react native application and show in the list view of react native this is the url written the json format and this is the response object which have which is array and it has json object f name l name dob we will show f name and l name in rows so let's see what we do do in code for this we need a activity indicator to show the progress dialog or activity indicator and then list view need to be a import in this application for this we define the constructor and is loading true because this function will be called at the time of program start or project start executing so loading button will be shown at the time of execution on the app launch component mount will render the element or execute after the rendering the first render function after execution with what we do in, in this we will call the fetch function fetch function will call this url this is the same url we use here now we return the response dot json then response json we declare a variable data source if row, row has changed if row has changed r1 is not equal to r2 then we set is loading set files and set the data source ds dot clone with rows response json dot response here you see this is the response so we set the data source by response json object and the response of this array because in this view we have the array object so we set this as a clone object if there is error then with the console error will execute in render if this state is loading if the state is loading then we will show the activity indicator first time it will show only activity indicator then we return the if it is loading then it will return this then we return the list view set the data source is equal to this dot state dot data source here we defined it and the render row render row data text we set the style green this is the green style font size 20 height of row is 40 text height is 40 then we define row dot f name here first tag is f name and row data dot l name so this will be the row of list view now run this program save and refresh now we define the load dot dob save this is activity indicator now you see same that so the component did mount call after rendering the first time element then this will be called and we get the data source now second rendering next time rendering this is not set to false so this code will not execute so come to the here and this will be execute okay so until this is loading it true always return from here the activity indicator will be shown this when this become false then this will return so in this we will show the list view with this text thanks